Hello everyone, it's Matt. And in this video, I'm gonna show you two new features in Microsoft Planner that will give your productivity a boost and also some tips on how to use them. The two features are Task Filter and Schedule View. So first, let's look at Task Filter. Okay, so here I am in Planner and you can see I've got my tasks listed by bucket. And what's new here is this filter option in the top right hand corner. If I drop this down, you can see I can filter my tasks in four different ways. By keyword, by due date, by label, and by assignment, which is who the task is assigned to. So let's try out filter. So all I have to do is click in and type a keyword. So I'm gonna go training. Now you can see behind, my tasks are now filtered by the keyword training. So I've got create training slide deck, IT training plan. So that's nice and simple. So let's clear that. And this time we'll look at due date. So now if I choose the due date late, you can see it's now filtered my task by the ones that are past their due date. And you can see that's marked with red and when the due date actually is. Now I can combine that filter with a group by. So I can choose group by progress and now I can see which of my late tasks are not even started. So I've got one over here which I need to worry about and which ones are also in progress. Okay so let's reset that. So if I change group by to bucket and filter I'll do a clear. So we're back to where we were and now this time I'm going to scroll down and choose label. So you can choose as many labels as you like to filter your task by and you'll see behind that now we've got our tasks filtered by our labels which you can see marked on the little on the side here now we could also combine that with a group by if I choose assign to now I can see which labels are assigned to which people so the final thing we can do here is filter by assignment so let me reset this to bucket and I'll clear my filter now if I scroll down I'm going to choose Alex and Megan as my assignees. Now my tasks are filtered by only Alex and Megan's, and you can see that behind me. And you could combine this with labels. So if I group by labels, now I can see which tasks have a label and which tasks are uncategorized. So if I, for example, I wanted to assign an uncategorized task to a label, I could just drag it off into the column I wanted and drop it down. So the schedule view is very easy to get to. It's up here next to charts at the top. And once you're in the view, you're gonna see on the right hand side here, you can switch between months and weeks. And then on the left, you'll see the left and right arrows where you can move between the months and weeks. And you can also jump to today. When you're in the view, you're gonna see all your tasks and you can click on a task and see the details just as you could from board view. And you can also create new tasks by this plus button that you'll see on every day. When I hit plus, it asks me for a task name. I can type that in. Ask me to choose a bucket and then an assignee. And then I can add the task. Once the task is created, I can drag that to another day if I want to. And you can see also I've got one task in red here that was due yesterday. If I wanted to change the due date of that task, I could just move it by dragging it onto another day and it's no longer red. Now I can combine the schedule view with my filter view as well. So if I come up to filters and scroll down to assignment and choose Alex, now I'm only seeing Alex's tasks in the schedule view. So in this video, we looked at task filters and schedule view in Microsoft Planner. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.